Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Six common mistakes in the construction of plinth beam. Before starting construction of plinth beam, you should have knowledge about six common mistakes. Otherwise, you will face more problems. Maybe you will do two or three common mistakes. To avoid these mistakes in the construction of plinth beam, so you should have watched this video from start to end to learn something new. So let's start. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video and you may subscribe this channel for more civil engineering updates. Guys, I will explain these are just the headings okay the first one common mistake is development length the second one is bar diameter the third one is clear cover or concrete cover the fourth one is spacing of stirrups the fifth one is cleaning the beam the last one is from work or shuttering remember development length Guys, development length is very important, especially in plinth beam, which is, as you can see, this is the long section of plinth beam. And here, guys, you can see clearly. Okay, inside I am showing you here steel reinforcement. So this is steel reinforcement the top and this is the bottom one so the bottom steel bar is going to the upward side and the top is going to the downward side so this is called development length L D by small you can show it okay so this is development length so guys development length is very important which can make a good bond between steel and concrete okay so never forget the development length so the development length should be important and the construction of plant beam especially for reinforcement okay so this is development length and remember guys development length should not be less than 12 inches okay development length should not be less than 12 inches so 12 inch should be minimum development length 12 inch should be development length if the development length is less than 12 inches so it cannot work properly okay so this is the first one and I saw a lot of plinth beam on construction site so they didn't provide the development length so development length is very important okay so otherwise if you don't provide the development length so uh, you will face the problems so uh, here we have maximum shear stresses so if uh, here is maximum shear, st shear stresses and you don't provide the development length so uh, due to uh, if you didn't provide so it will provide cracks at the end of the support okay so development length is also crank bar is very important okay the next one is guys bar diameter what is bar diameter you can see guys here the second one is here this is the section of plant beam so here this is bottom bar these two and these two are top bars remember don't use the lesser dia for the bottom bar okay for example i saw in many projects they used 10 millimeter sorry 12 millimeter for top bars and 10 millimeter for bottom bar 12 for top and 10 for bottom okay so guys this is wrong okay what is the correct way the correct way is okay so here use 12 millimeter or the higher dia should be used at the bottom for example for this dia so the 12 mm should be at the bottom and 10 mm should be at the top this is just the example so i mean the upper dia should be lesser compared to the bottom diameter of 
steel steel rod for plant beam so this is the other common mistake okay so this is the correct way and this is the wrong way okay so mean use lesser dia for top and higher for bottom bar or bottom portion okay now the other one is guys concrete cover so here the concrete cover the third one is concrete cover remember the concrete cover should not be less than this concrete cover okay this one so this concrete cover should not be less than 25 millimeter or one inch so the concrete cover should be minimum 25 millimeter okay or 25 millimeter is okay okay minimum and also but it should not be less than this okay this is the concrete cover mistake and uh, you can see on different construction site sometimes if you don't provide the concrete cover so you can see the steels are exposed and you can see from outer side and plenty beam so therefore if you don't provide so it will make problems you will face the problems okay and the filling also for the plant beam etc and it can be rust it makes corrosion the steel can make corrosion if you don't have concrete cover okay so this is very important guys the fourth one is spacing of stirrups guys you can see here as i show you here the stirrup spacing remember at the end of the support mean l by 4 distance here and also here l by 4 distance with l by 4 distance the concrete uh, the stirrup spacing should not be more than 1 50 millimeter center to center the spacing should not be more than with l by 4 distance because we have maximum shear stresses so due to maximum shear stresses the beam and column can provide the cracks okay so to avoid the cracks against the cracks we use minimum space for the stirrups but at the mid okay after l by 4 distance you can increase so you can take about 200 to 250 mm okay at this place at the mid but l by 4 distance it's very important so okay so l by 4 distance the stirrup spacing should not be more than i recommend you okay so it should not be more than 150 millimeter are six inches okay guys the fifth one is cleaning the beam so when the the beam construction are when the construction of beam is completed so after that we are making filling inside the bedrooms inside the uh, tv lounge anything okay so for example you can see here okay so suppose this is beam for this for example this is bedroom okay so when the beam is ready then we are making filling for this area okay for filling so after filling the plot inside and outer side of the plinth beam then the plinth beam should be the plinth beam should be clean before starting brick masonry otherwise it cannot make the bond between brick masonry and plinth beam okay so after construction of plinth beam when you complete the filling so the beam should be cleaned with the help of water otherwise if you start directly brick masonry so you will face the problem so there will be gap between brick masonry 
and beam, plant beam. That's why because due to mud or due to other obstacles. Okay, so therefore the clay, uh, the beam cleaning is very important after completion, construction of filling, uh, construction of beam, and also uh, the completion of filling okay earthwork you can say you can do the filling of uh, earth anything okay so the last one is guys farm work you can see nowadays for the plant beam many people they are not provide the farm work are shuttering they just using they are using concrete block or bricks so therefore when you make the farm work or shuttering with the help of concrete block or brick work so as you know we have the slurry and the concrete when the brick or cement block absorb the water of cement okay so otherwise it can decrease the strength of concrete so this is the other last mistake of plant beam so guys these are some useful informations related some common mistakes six common mistakes in the construction of plant beam which i have discussed the front of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye